thank you. It is my honor and privilege on behalf of the Board of Education and the administration to congratulate you, the senior class of 2020. In my last year serving as superintendent in the Green Bay Area Public Schools, like you, the class of 2020, I had envisioned a very different end to the 2019-20 school year. Like you, I looked forward to celebrating your high school graduation with you, with your administrators, teachers, family, and friends. At times like this, I am reminded of the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He said, we must accept finite disappointment, but we must never lose infinite hope. Needless to say, I am disappointed, but I am very hopeful that someday in the near future, we will be able to celebrate the graduating class of 2020 in person and that I will have the opportunity to look you straight in the eye and personally extend my congratulations to each and every one of you. Since March 13th, I have written the more than 3,000 district staff a weekly update related to COVID-19. And I always begin with a quote from the late great Vince Lombardi who said, the measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. In my weekly updates to staff while I share the current realities of COVID-19, I look for the positives and focus on the incredible and extraordinary work that our staff's been doing. Teaching students at home, serving 10,000 meals each and every day, printing and mailing educational resources to families, writing grants that support weekend meals and essential school supplies, and all of the other necessary functions to keep Wisconsin's fourth largest school district running while we are apart. Class of 2020, like our staff, you too had to make the best of the circumstances that were thrust upon you during this public health emergency. During the last few months, you've had to make the most with what you had. And here's what you had. You had a pandemic that closed your school buildings, requiring you to connect in very different ways with your classmates, teachers, coaches, administrators, and all staff who support you each and every day at school. You had a spring that was missing proms, senior balls, athletics, and all the many traditions that are a part of a normal school year and instead you had social distancing, the governor's safer at home order, and learning virtually from home. You had a school year without closure. Yearbooks were mailed home, locker cleanups completed by staff, curbside drop-off of books and laptops, and only virtual end-of-the-year celebrations and banquets, award ceremonies, athletic and military signings. But you also had dedicated administrators and teachers who worked tirelessly to ensure your educational as well as social and emotional needs were met. You had adults who turned over every stone to find a way to celebrate you and your high school graduation. Whether it was looking into a combined graduation ceremony at Lambeau Field, parking lot graduation ceremonies, drive-in movie theater like graduations. It was truly, truly an extensive list. But at the end of the day, the district needed to follow the guidelines provided to ensure that everyone would remain healthy and safe. Instead, you had senior strong yard signs and visits from school staff. You had billboards across the city school color shining on the Fox River from the Ray Nitschke and Walnut Street bridges, virtual award ceremonies, and virtual graduations. And you also had, and very importantly, the love, the support, the respect, and the pride of your families, your friends, your teachers, your staff, your administrators, all who had been there, not only during this unprecedented time, but throughout your entire educational journey. And we are all ready to share in the exciting future that is waiting for you. As I reflect on our time here in Green Bay, we've been together class of 2020, nine years. And in that time, I think I have a pretty good understanding of the measure of who you are. The class of 2020 is resourceful, creative and innovative, 
and very respectful as well. And you have been extremely responsive to our current reality. You have persevered. You have grit. The class of 2020 is dedicated to not only improving yourselves, but also your schools and your community. The class of 2020 is willing to make sacrifices to ensure the health and safety and well-being of family, of friends, and the greater community. You have saved lives by your actions. The class of 2020 is able to move beyond disappointment and express gratitude to everyone who has done their very best on your behalf. You are demonstrating positivity and flexibility as plans certainly have changed. You know, there's nothing like a pandemic to force you into adulthood. And in response, you have grown and you have matured exponentially because of what you have experienced. And I am confident that the experience has shaped you in ways that have prepared you well for your future plans, whether you're heading off to a four or two year college, a technical college, the military, or the workforce. Today is a day to celebrate all that you have accomplished throughout your educational career, the growth that you have experienced living with and during a pandemic will not only forever change you, but strengthened and challenged you in ways that set you apart from any and all senior classes that have come before you and will come after. You continue to make us proud. In closing, as you go forward, remember what Vince said, the measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. Class of 2020, here is what you have. You have the opportunity to reimagine and reinvent the world. You have the potential in the years to come to be measured as the greatest and most influential class of young men and women who have reinvented and critically important, successfully, successfully transformed and changed our world for the better. My congratulations to each of you. Let's do this again in person very soon. Please be safe and well. You ready? Always. Friends, students, graduates, I stand before you today not as anyone special, not as an officer of a position you've never heard of, nor as an alum you've never met, but as a fellow student, plain and simple. Originally, I had written a speech filled with metaphor and grandiose words, but that's not what you want to hear. It's certainly not what I want to hear, and I know it's not why I was among those asked to speak. I, like you, have heard everyone talk about how much we have lost, how they grieve for us, and I'm tired. To have seen all the work, not just my own work, but the work of my fellow students, our personal and collaborative efforts all washed away in a tide beyond our control. And now, at every turn, to be reminded of how terrible it is. That is why I am tired. I acknowledge this loss, how has it affected every single person in this school, from the athletes, to the academics, to the IB students, the musicians, actors, artists, and every student in between. Though you have lost your final great game, your last aced test, your final IB exams, your final performance, final show, final masterpiece, and your final chance to walk these halls. This cannot, this must not define us. As students, as humans, we are not defined by where we failed, but by, but by where we succeeded. And it is because of this that we must succeed in spite of it all. In this time, I've seen it. And I know that, alone or together, we are strong. Each and every one of us, I've seen people grow closer despite having to remain apart. 
using every method in their power to keep a connection so strong not even a worldwide emergency can break it. I've worked with my fellow students to keep events together to help salvage every piece of our senior experience we could. I help with events where we gather and play games together. I've seen students pull together great rivers of news and data to help themselves and others understand the chaotic world around them. Though terrible is this great sword through the gut of a generation, it cannot stifle our hope. We cannot wash away the good deeds we've done and have yet to do. This great capacity within us all to work with one another. It was never the things we lost that defined us in this pandemic, but how we have overcome and how we will carry on. So go forth, carry the lessons we have learned in this defining moment with you into the future. Know that in a time where we needed to come together to support each other, show each other that we are not alone, we succeeded. And that is why I have never been before so proud to be part of the class of 2020. All right, your turn. <coughs> Hello to all. In recent months, there's no doubt that we've missed quite a few quite a few opportunities. In-person graduation, senior ball, and more all cancelled. Despite this, we've decided to take matters into our own hands and hold our own virtual pseudo graduation. Our friends have our friendships have remained strong despite our distance. We've all been making plans already to meet after this pandemic and make up for time lost as best we can before we all say our farewells and turn our heads towards the college days. With recent news that Wisconsin schools will reopen in the fall, I'm certain that this online education will not last much longer. The transition from high school to college is admittedly a scary one, even without a global virus. Even now, I find myself wondering what my future holds, if I'm walking the right path. I feel that my journey through high school has been an amazing experience. I was by no means the most popular, and I am totally fine with that. I made friends with the right people, the people who've helped me through the toughest years of my life to date, the people who've made me laugh and cry so many times. It is these bonds with my fellow students that made high school such a wonderful and memorable chapter in my book of life. Of course, I cannot forget my teachers. I am fortunate enough to have been taught by the most amazing, funny, hard-working group of people I have ever known. Being in the IB program, I got to know all of my teachers very well in both academic and extracurricular activities. These relationships have proved to be just as important and strong as those with students. If there's one thing that IB has taught me, it's that life is hard. I've learned that being resilient and determined to succeed can get you far in life, as long as you're willing to put in the work. I'm ready to move on. The amazing memories we've created has shaped who I am. I raise my theoretical glass to all of my fellow graduates and pray that our bonds remain strong beyond West High walls. Class of 2020, on West High and on to the future. I suppose without an audience here to applaud, we'll never know if they liked our speech all we can do is hope, I guess. I guess that's all we're doing these days. Do you ever worry about what the future holds? Some days. But not today. Hey, welcome to the West Graduation. My name is Hannah Parkowski, and I am part of the graduating class of 2020. In this crazy time, I like to think about the best memories as a Wildcat. West provided us with so many opportunities to make the most of our high school years. During my four years, I made great friends, participated in activities, worked so much more. I was so excited to be a Wildcat with all of, her, my, all of my friends. There are many great activities to do at rest. 
One of the most fun activities is cheerleading. I cheered for f- football and basketball teams for four years. We got to dance at pep rallies, walk in homecoming parades, and cheer on our Wildcats at West. We have lots, lots to ever, including field trips to the Milwaukee Zoo in the Veterans Memorial Fun Activities for the holidays, work experience, and my favorite, the Good Joy Fun. The Good Joy Fun was highlight every year. My classmates got to participate in all of these activities and more. When I graduate high school, I have big plans to go to NWTC. I will be taking classes that will support my path toward being independent and living to my fullest potential. Was became like a second family to me. Being a part of the Green Bay West Wildcat family is the best. The students accept each other for who they are and support each other coaches who helped shape our high school years. First, I want to thank Ms. Jacobson, Mr. Hoffman, Mr. McNabb, and all of the teachers for guiding my high school journey. A special, special thank you to Ms. Van Cook, who taught me so many life skills and pushed me to be my best. And the biggest, loudest thank you goes out to my parents and family. Thank you for supporting me in the pursuit of all my hopes and dreams. I am so lucky to have you. Seniors, I am so excited to see what we do after college. I know as we get older, we are going to accomplish great things in our jobs and our lives. I can't wait to graduate and Quite happy tears. Good luck, everyone. We did. Although our time at West High School was cut short, I can safely say that our memories of high school will last a lifetime. To me, high school is much more than just a building and an education. It was a place for me to find my interests and passions while bonding with some of my peers and still having fun. I grew close to some people I never thought I would and made some amazing bonds with teachers I will never forget. West High has brought me so many opportunities that I never would have imagined getting as a high schooler. Experiences like working with UW-Green Bay and Tiny Earth and becoming stage manager in theater, just to name a few. Experiences like these has opened many doors for me in, in the future and has already landed me a job in college. If someone were to ask me what my favorite part of high school is, it would not be easy to answer. Some could argue that it's winning a game or setting a PR in your favorite sport or the rush you get after the curtains close on a performance, or the fun you have while marching out onto the field for a halftime show. For me, it would have to be like those moments in AP Chemistry my junior year where we made s'mores using a Bunsen burner, or spending time with my closest friends every day on Miss Preston's couch before she moved. It's times like these that are unforgettable. Back in fifth grade at Jackson Elementary School, we had counselors from Franklin visit us and try to convince us to go to their school. Part of their pitch was telling us that since we were the Jackson Jaguars, we'd then become Franklin Bobcats and eventually West Wildcats. Their phrase was, once a cat, always a cat, and that's always stuck with me to this day. Even if you never went to Jackson or Franklin, all of us right here, right now can say, once a wildcat, always a wildcat. My advice for you guys, the West High graduating class of 2020, is to never stop moving towards what you want. Don't let fear be something that's stopping you from doing amazing things and achieving your goals. You should always be able to look back and say, wow, I'm so glad I did that, and I've learned so much from that experience. Then to say, man, I really wish I did that one thing that one time. Some opportunities come once in a lifetime. Never forget that. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Good luck, class of 2020. This is a celebration video that presents to the world West High School class of 2020. I would like to take a moment to give thanks to the many people who have in a variety of ways helped each graduate reach today's milestone. Let's start with a show of appreciation by thanking your leaders who were elected within your senior class. Senior class officers include senior class president Angel Holland, Senior Class Vice President Paige Tesnow, 
And I would like to also thank our senior class advisors, Ms. Amy Dahl and Mr. Anders Sulik. I want to thank our amazing associate principals here at West, Mr. McNabb and Mr. Hoffman. Thank you, gentlemen. And I'm going to acknowledge those who have helped or have made your high school journey um, more enjoyable over these past four years. A big thank you to all your teachers, counselors, social workers, coordinators, school psychologists, speech pathologists, school secretaries, library staff, athletic director, coaches, assistant coaches, monitors, student learning advocates, paraprofessionals, tutors, athletic trainers, school nurses, custodial staff, and cafeteria staff. Thank you, everyone. While all graduates have worked hard to achieve this rite of passage, we identify at graduation our top 10 students who have worked diligently to earn this distinguished honor. And so next, I would like to acknowledge their hard work. Ranked number 10 in the graduating class of 2020, Wolfgang Vetter. Ranked ninth in the graduating class of 2020, Ty Vang. Ranked eighth in the graduating class of 2020, Malachi Duffy. Ranked seventh in the graduating class of 2020, Hannah Badillo Bayer. Ranked sixth in the graduating class of 2020 is Liam Smeester. Ranked fifth in the graduating class of 2020 is Jewel Yonke. Ranked fourth in the graduating class of 2020, Haley Wagnatz. Ranked third in the graduating class of 2020, Olivia Vandenplas. Ranked number two in the graduating class of 2020, Brittany Burkhardt. And ranked number one in the graduating class of 2020, Hannah Paprin. Job well done, Wildcats. And I wanna recognize the paths that students took to graduate. We had a number of students take one or more IB diploma courses, and we have 10 students who dedicated their final two years of high school into taking a full diploma course load. The International Baccalaureate program requires extensive exams after two years of studies, and West High joined the world, literally the world, last month in taking these exams. We had a number of students who were graduated from our Baylink manufacturing program. A part made at West may have ended up in your lawnmower, or it may have ended up overseas in the machine that made the t-shirt that you are wearing today. We have a number of students who are graduating from the Bridges Construction Program. Less than five miles away from West High School, they helped build an entire house. We have students who got here today through our Alt-Ed program. Just like in our life's journeys, milestones such as graduating, our paths are all very different. Our school is graduating students from the GED II program, from the Academy, from Repo, from the Challenge Academy, and from PACE. Well done, Wildcats. Mr. Campa always talks about how our lives are scripts, that we write these scripts ourselves. And often we get stuck in writing the same script and find it hard to rewrite. But the wonderful thing for you, class of 2020, Wildcats, your script has not been written. Today, your graduation from high school is the first page of your story. And what will you write? Some of you will be tempted to write a story filled with sorrow for lost days of your senior year, a lost prom, even a lost graduation. I understand that temptation. But why start your story that way? This is yours to write. I would advise you to write it very differently. Write of sacrifice. Sacrifice of plays, prom, sports, graduation, and the last days of your senior year with your friends and your classmates. You went without because in doing so, you and the others were kept safe. Heroic effort often looks like a Black Panther or Wonder Woman, but that is just a script that was written for them. Our scripts show 
being a hero is simpler. It is to have graduated from the class of 2020. So go out there into that big world and write your script of sacrifice and good deeds. Make sure to remember, class of 2020, you are the heroes of those scripts. It is my pleasure to present the West High School class of 2020. Job well done, well cats. Quentin Abadia Miller. Octavio Abella Martinez. Juan Aspuro Abdullahi Ali Bradley Allard Kishe Allen Kaylee Avila Torres Jackson Backus Hannah Badillo Bayer Shimon Bates Allison Bissett Dahir Bahi Dane Bloom Victoria Brotz Amanda Brown Maurice Brown Brittany Burkhardt Sabrina Burton Jasmine Buss Terry Butler Anna Butterfield Avery Kennedy Michael Chalupka
Krista Chambers. Kylan Shampoo. Sandra Christian. Celinda Christjohn. Jacoya Coleman. Christiana Cooper. Michelle Corey. Elise Cornelius Rayanne Cree Haley Crooks Kira Dampier Alasia Davis Sarah DeGrave Ta Day Juan Diaz Rynan Dix Colby Drefsinski Malachi Duffy Alexandra Duffus Joseph Duffy Haley Dugree Wyatt Dunlap Allison Duquesne Quinton Dye Kindle Edict Desiree Fields
Micah Frank. Evan Freeze. Garrett Gage Winnen. Jaden Gale. Cheryl Giese. Maria Gilson Jones. Brisa Gomez Carvajal. Aiden Gore. Abigail Goundrel. Mason Gracer. Detton Granger. Evan Grayson. Colton Greaves. Caden Greer. Ashley Harding. Gabriel Hedges. Grant Heigl. Damian Henricks. Kiyoshi Her. Pang Her. Ilara Herman. Giselle Hernandez. Maribel Hernandez. Angelica Holland. Kiera Howard. Alejandro Huerta.
Gabby Hynek. Marshall Iwawaka. Jewel Yankee. Lydell James. Sincere Jarrett. David Johnson. Carmen Jolin. Hannah Campen. Alexis King. Destiny King. Kira Kichenikow. Ashley Klamowski. Jared Kong. Travis Kaponen. Kiana Karowski. Dylan Larson. Isaiah Lee. Keenan Lee. Philon Lee. Caitlin Lemire. Emmanuel Leon Ramirez. Caleb Lieberant. Ambrosia Marcus Kenyon. Solana Marcus Kenyon. Emily Mathias. Caitlin Moffert.
Aiden Merck. Amanda Mercure. Jack Meshke. Ricardo Mesa. Blake Miner. Abdisamad Muhammad. Jalen Moore. Jada Morgan. Tasia Morrow. Kalia Mua. Andrew Nuria. Ryan North. Emmett Olson. Alyssa Arodnik. Hannah Pamperin. Rihanna Patino. Sophia Perkovich. Tatiana Pakusin. Amaya Pamsa. Lillilyn Pinchart. Anna Plutowski. Isaiah Pointer. Damone Presley. Lakari Price. Emmanuel Ramirez. Gabriel Rapavas.
Kwanzaa Robinson. Trinell Robinson. Isabella Seldania. Victoria Salzer. Isabella Shovel Barrera. Anya Schmidt. Raven Scott. Bradley Seidel. Kelsey Service. Liam Smeester. Gia Smith. Remington Staub. Jasmine Stever. Brittany Strom. Malachi Terabini. Noah Tarasinski. Paige Tesnow. Isabella Upstone. Cassandra Valdez. Jaden Vandenhuvel. Olivia Vandenplas. Jack Van Enkevoort. Chimeng Bang. G. Vang. Gao Bang. Ricky Bang.
tie bang. Tong Vang Yuan Vang Abigail Vasquez Ortega Wolfgang Vetter Haley Wagnitz Zenobia Ware Aiden Watts Elijah Wabanaskum Jacinda Wapakane Michaela Weibrecht Hannah Weary Caden Winter Kaylee Wolf Jason Wright Gaumong Jong Joshua Zhang Angelina Yang David Yang Lovely Yang Tai Yang Trunks Yang Adam Zellner.